I don't look at things as far as take, taking sides. Oh, cancel culture, you're terrible. Leave these people alone. And that's just the way it was because that excuse, the way it was, cannot be used all the time. I'm not, right. that's just the way it was kind of person. Like, I just gave right. an example where I don't think it's cool. But at the same time, man, what's the end result that you want from people? Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content, such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. <laughs> yeah, that's, I was laughing at Gina Carano thing. I mean, she did it to herself, but at the same time, you know, that old, you know, you say something, the internet, you know, will catch it, and you gotta be careful what you gotta say, I guess. But then the internet was like, we got her, who's next? David Letterman, we'd like to see you in front, please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> what did David Letterman do? Well, there was something going around saying how he was very, uh, I guess, uh, you know, sexual or ish towards Lindsay Lohan and just very kind of in your face to her. I don't know if it's sexual or more so. She was, he was kind of a rain to her, talking about her uh, when she went to rehab and things like that and just really going after her. And like, oh, would he go after her if, after her if, if she wasn't a female? Was he going after her if a male? And, you know, people put this clip up talking about, you know, this 40, uh, like five minute clip of him talking to different female. Um, guess that he had throughout the years. And uh, yeah, it was like, okay, well, what's going on here? And mm-hmm. people were making it seem as though, you know, he was being very, you know, uh, sexual or saying crazy things to these female guests throughout the years. And I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know about all that. I mean, I can't speak to that because, you know, if you're, you're female and if you are feeling a certain way about what somebody says, I can't speak on that, right? So yeah. you feel offended? Yes, you're offended. I can't say yay or nay on that's on you. But, you know, watching these clips and hearing how he's speaking to people, you, you can tell that it was, again, that time when he was early, David yeah. Letterman. But as he got to older David Letterman, it was very much, you know, him trying to be funny in an uncomfortable way. Yeah. And I think yeah, I think he did that with everybody. I don't think it was just females. I mean, granted, you know, he was saying how, you know, pretty you know, how lovely people's le- girls legs were, women's legs were and how much they smelled nice. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that's what the, the, the clip would end. He was like, yo, you smell great. And it would cut to somebody else. Hey, look, you smell great. And it cut to something else. I'm like, okay, are y'all really, is this really something to be like, you know, witch hunting about? I don't know. You let me, you know what? I'll take a look. That's a, that's a great topic of discussion because mm. I hadn't heard about this. There's been so many things that people have been drudging up from the past. Yeah. Uh, I'll t- yeah, because we just got through talking about a review where there was something that happened a long time ago. Somebody is being portrayed and rightfully so is being victimized right now so now mm-hmm. that this person's victimized people taking lists well who else was who else was mean to you in the past you know and it's like oh That's jesus pain, man. fucking christ yeah. man but let me take a look because they have this this twitter video up of him yes. talking to Lindsay lohan lohan, lohan sorry lohan, lohan. and <laughs> this, is, this this says here this Lindsay Lohan interview on David Letterman in 2013 is horrifying to watch now. Let's take a look. Do, do, do you have addiction problems? Do you drink too much? We've discussed this in the past. Who did we really? When did we discuss well, because it? Because I'm had... the one who's having the blackouts. What is, what is that <laughs> okay, you know, I, 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 I get it. It's a kind of a longer interview, too. I, I get what mm-hmm. people are talking about. I mean, yeah, looking at this. You know, this is a person that's struggling with addiction. You know, some mental things going on at the time. Uh, would, would I conduct an interview like that? No. You know, no. I, I would not do that. Uh, I, but I get what he's doing. I mean, this has been what I think needs to be understood. One, this is eight fucking years ago. <laughs> you know, I, this what, this, what is this, 2013? And I'm not giving him a pass or anything like that. I think it's cool to like have people reflect, not try to lynch people, not try to have, like you say, a witch hunt. I think, Mm -hmm. you know, to make people aware of what they've done. Somebody who grew up watching David Letterman, man, I can tell you that this was his on-screen personality. I've seen Mm -hmm. David Letterman do this with several people and maybe he shouldn't do it with addiction, but it was a different time even back in 2013. And while I say there's no excuse because you can't use that with everything. You can't use that was a different time. If somebody was, if somebody was sexually molested or if you had somebody who uh, was in statutory rape, 
I've heard people say, you know, because you've had certain rock and rollers and musicians out there who would have oh, these yeah. young groupies and people say, well, it was just like that at the time. And that's really no excuse, you know, but I, and at the same time, I get it. You know, I do. I mean, I, I shouldn't say I get it, but I, it was years ago and the atmosphere was different. David Letterman, I've seen interviews where he just pretty much with with the uh, with guest. He would just pretty much tell him, yeah, you know what? That's stupid what you just said. His whole thing yep. was he had a caustic, sarcastic mm -hmm. personality. And that that's what he built the show on. And that's what he was paid for. That's what he was encouraged to do. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that was that was his stick. I remember watching him as well. You know, he'd be very cringy when it came to certain things. You know, that was his his way of being, uh, you know, swarmy. You know, and, uh, you know, getting getting with the audience because the audience want to hear those type of things. Right. He was very much a uh, toned down Howard Stern. I don't look at things as far as take taking sides. Oh, cancel culture. You're terrible. Leave these people alone. And that's just the way it was, because that excuse, the way it was, cannot be used all the time. I'm not. Right. That's just the way it was kind of person. Like I just gave right. an example. Where I don't think it's cool. But at the same time, man, what's the end result that you want from people? I think that question. Right? Yeah. I, I believe that, you know, with the, at, at a certain point, and this is just my opinion. I'm like you, I was like, I have no answers and everybody has a different answer for this. But I think that what do you want? Do you want to ruin people or do you want to make them aware of what they've done that maybe doesn't fly today and maybe make them a better person? Because I think looking at this, yeah, I see where the cringe is coming in. Somebody who's suffering from addiction and you sit up there making jokes at their expense and being kind of an asshole about it. Yeah, uh, so like I said, I probably wouldn't have done that, but I get where that's coming from. And I don't even think that's sincerely David Letterman. That's just what he built his his personality on for years. If and you it think, looks like he's enjoying it, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I, well, well, what's your opinion on it? Yeah, I, mean, I don't want to leave you um, I mean, I don't think it looks <laughs> tasteful for him, you know, yeah. like. Like, uh, forget about how Lindsay Lohan things and everything. Mm -hmm. I think when I watch it as a third person, it just doesn't look tasteful. It doesn't look funny. Like, I wish you could be funny in a different way. You know, I wish you were better than this. <laughs> yeah. This is how I feel. And see, this is where we just because you, you we always you and I have like a different sense of humor because there's a lot of things that I've seen. You just kind of like that's not tasteful humor right there. I've actually listened to comedians on stage and they just kind of were, you know, they they were they were dirtier comedians they use harsher words and she doesn't like that uh no you know. i don't have a problem with dirty stuff i have a problem with like the, this kind of stuff like this is disrespectful and he's just enjoying it and he's just like it just looks like he's pushing his finger in the wound you know it's yeah. just like i don't know like well, do you really need this well let me see let me look at the rest of it you can't make a joke of it stop yeah oh, she's <laughs> tearing up a little bit god bless you <laughs> i love you, too. you go yeah, I, I no, I listen. Thank my, you, Chad, by the way, supporting me. <laughs> my, no, I no, I, 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 what am I supposed to say? I definitely think that this is mean spirited. I, 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 like I said, I would not do that. And I did watch the end. It did get meaner as it went along. It doesn't feel like joking. It feels like mocking. It feels like bullying in a way. Yeah. 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 No, it does. And I, I fully agree that you know, this is something that hey, today maybe bring it up and you bring it up to him and say hey, what what was the interview back in the day, but. At the, at, again, what's the end result? What do, what yeah. do you want? Do you and, want David career? Do you do you want David Letterman's career ruined for this moment right here? Do you want him to do, do, do you want to crucify him as a person, or do you want to say, hey, look, this is something that was done. We can't go back and change it. But is it only you, one <clears throat> thing though? Is it only this moment? Because that's his style. So is this only one? Oh person? no, that's what he's done throughout his career. You know, he's done this like that's. But that uh, then again. Like I said, throughout his career, throughout the 80s, 90s, the 2000s, this is what he was expected to do. This is what his yeah. career was. And, I'm, and again, it sounds like I'm making an excuse for him. I'm not. But all those years that he was doing this, there was a point where it was somewhat accepted. There was a point where it was encouraged. And now today that we're more enlightened, yeah, it stands out and it's not good, but it's a different time. So at this point, what do we want to do? Do we want to... But again, do we want to crucify this person, ruin this person's life? Or do we want to say, hey, do you feel bad about this? What Have you learned anything? Should you apologize? Maybe, yeah, I, that, that's fine. But I don't know about ruining somebody for this. But will that be enough? I'm saying I'm sorry. I don't think it's going to be enough for the Internet. The Internet wants blood, baby. And, you know, they, gonna, they ain't going to stop till they get it. Because this is what kind of started the whole thing of them like, OK, well, they, they did this with Lindsay Lohan. 
let's see what else he's been doing. And that's when he came up with this clip I saw of him being, you know, quote unquote, uh, you know, sexual with these women, you know, online. I'm like, wow. So they really, you know, they out there. They on the case. Internet's on the case, baby. Watch your back. Yeah. (laughs) They on the case. Yeah, that's the thing. It starts with one thing. And when yep. they start looking at your past, then they start looking at <clears throat> everything and then they'll find more stuff and then uh, then it comes but, down after But that. when is it going to stop? Because if you do this to him, now you got to go after Howard Stern. If you do this to him, now, now you got to go after all these musicians. Believe me, there's a lot of musicians who have done a shitload of worse things yeah. than, you know, tell jokes that, granted, right. tasteless, bullying, horrible, but there's a lot of people. At what fucking point do you want to do this? Well, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. And, you know, who else are they going to come after? Now you had to be smart, right? Or or try and be smart, right? Now we got Justin Timberlake yeah. talking about, I'm sorry, Brittany, and I'm sorry, Janet. I should have been there for you, baby, but I wasn't. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, you, and and so, you know what? That, uh, that is true, man. Yeah, he apologized. He apologized to, 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 to Brittany. He apologized to Janet. And he even apologized to that titty that she pulled down. <laughs> and that's what happens, right? You Now you got to try to get ahead of it, but somebody gets in front of it for you. Everybody who's up here defending Lindsay Lohan right now, back in the day, because I remember when all this shit was happening, some of these people get mad now. You were the ones looking for a fucking vagina when she stepped out of a limousine. You were the ones making fun of her when she went to when she went to uh, to rehab because she was made a joke by the public. And yes, it's not just David Letterman that should look at himself. If we're gonna go after David Letterman, which fine, if you want to bring him, if you want to hold him accountable for that, I don't mind putting a mirror up to somebody and saying, "Hey, what about this? Have you learned anything? Where are we at right now? Are you sorry about it?" But. I just this is funny that we're bringing this up because a lot of people at a period. The point is, a lot of people were at a period where it was almost socially accepted to make fun of people like this. Mm. That is that that I just got through watching the documentary. And it's funny how all this is coming up right now, because, you know, we're we're starting to point. It's not just individuals. We're starting to point a, a pick up a mirror to ourselves as, as a society. You know, there was a time when it was a. Uh, it was hilarious to make fun of Britney Spears. Everybody did it. Mm-hmm. And, and, and by the way, is this what we're going to do now? Because they, because of a documentary that's out right now. And when I did my review of this documentary, Framing Britney Spears, I did say, man, that poor girl. And, I'm, and I can safely say I never went that hard on her, but I have with other people. With her, I just never was a big fan, so I just never even bothered. I did wonder, why are they picking on her so hard? But I'd be lying if I said I haven't laughed at different people, other people. I laughed at Lindsay Lohan. I'm probably just as guilty as, uh, uh, as David Letterman is. But now people are trying to get people who they felt did Britney Spears wrong. Britney was so serious and so focused. This is a girl that's coming from strength. Just a little bit of the documentary that's on Hulu. Now, one of the things that happened, and just look at what we're going here. This is this is this is the hole that we're going to take ourselves down if we choose to do this. Um, oh, what what is her name? Uh, Sarah Silverman, man. So now they're going after people who they feel did did uh britney spears wrong so uh sarah silverman and i did this in uh i talked about this in the review uh sarah silverman years ago did a roast on britney spears and so you know a lot of people are trying to come out and say hey look at this video look at this roast that she did how dare you sarah silverman what do you have to say for yourself you should be ashamed and what are we going to do now? Because Sarah Silverman was far by she was far from the only one to make fun of Britney Spears. There were so many parody songs and so many things that were going on making fun of Britney Spears. Uh, so if you're going to do that, are you going to go after Seth Green for Robot Chicken? Not that kind of girl. Come on, baby. You said you'd give it up to me. I'm a virgin. I'll give you my black cherry. These motherfuckers didn't just do a roast. They animated a whole thing about Britney Spears. They made fun of her. Uh, uh, Federline, uh, they made fun of her kids talking about she was white trash, you know. And listen, and, I'm not sitting up here judging, oh. but 
if you're going to go after Sarah Silverman, are you going to go after them? This is what I keep saying. When we start going after people who were in blackface and there's some who are like, yes, those people should be held accountable because they should know better. And then there's some that did in the past where it was like, well, it, was, it wasn't it was cool. It was shitty. But that was such a long time ago. Are you going to go after them? Because one of the things I noticed, nobody ever went after Howard Stern for doing blackface and saying the N-word and all that kind of shit. Why are we picking and choosing? You Maybe know? they will. Well, Maybe they will. Maybe they'll come after you too, baby. And you know what? And I saw somebody say, you're just trying to protect yourself from being hashtagged. <laughs> One of the things that I know is that when you're doing comedy and you're doing something humorous, you're doing something controversial, a lot of times you, you're encouraged by the public to do it and you say things. And a lot of times you don't even, you're not even who you are. You know, you're just saying those things. When are you going to go after, and I say this all the time, when are you going after Dave Chappelle for, talk, for making uh, pedophilia jokes on stage? When are you fucking going to do that? Because somehow that motherfucker got a pass for it. Everybody laughed about it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I get exactly what you're saying, man. You know, it, it never ends. You don't know, you know, what's next. You know, who, who who's going to be on the chopping block and uh, and who's that? I mean, you know, you start going down this slippery slope, you know, it, it doesn't end. And, you know, who who gets the pass? Who doesn't get the pass? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and, and that's the internet, man. They You know, they dictate who's cool and who's not cool. I think it depends on luck in a way too. Like mm -hmm. they just like find out about one person and go after him, and then the, those other guys are on the spot until they just it comes to them. It might come, and if maybe not, you know. Yeah, you know that's that's what I'm saying. Uh, so James Gunn just got rehired to do not only uh, uh, the next Guardians of the Galaxy, but he got called back for a uh, 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 Suicide Squad. And everybody yeah. applauded him after they said, why are you punishing this guy for making pedal jokes, uh, mm -hmm. you know, from the Catholic Church? You know, what, what do we, what, so what, are, all I'm saying is people, there's a, I don't like even using this phrase a whole lot, but there's a slippery slope. And yes, you know what, I do realize, and I'll tell you right now, I probably said some things and will continue to say things where somebody's going to come back and say, hey, you remember when you said this? You remember when you said that? But I'm gonna, you know, at, there's a time, I'm just going to, you, you just got to think of things. And if it's, if it's something where I said that was completely wrong, I'd be like, you know what, that was wrong. I'm sorry. Or I'll say, you know what, that, that was something that was wrong and that was the time it was, but I'm not going to sit up here and blubber in front of y'all. I ain't going to sit up here and like, you know, beg y'all for forgiveness. It's like, hey, there's a certain point where you say, I'm sorry, that was wrong. If you're not satisfied with that, go fuck yourself. Most of the time, even if you bug for uh, their uh, forgiveness, uh, like it doesn't, it doesn't work. You know, if they, if people put it in their mind that they don't want you anymore, you're yeah. done. And the moment they smell blood, the moment you go out and apologize, that's when they're going to really bring you down. Who are the people that have, who have, who have not apologized and they've been able to go out and do what they want to? Well, Trump for one, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. listen, we did, we're a country that doesn't like the weak we don't like cowards we don't like those who easily give in so a lot of times i think if these people just said hey man you know what sorry about that it's how it was how it was I, it's a different time i know better and if you can't take that <laughs> fuck you nah man i'm trying to hear yeah i said and i still believe it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> i haven't heard anybody go that direction just yet fuck you. i'm saying it's just like what are we going to do i you know because people aren't satisfied unless you're going in and really just crucifying people man and sometimes people deserve it sometimes it's just it's a simple you know what i am sorry for what i did back in the day that was wrong i have learned a lesson thank you for holding me accountable on that but no nah, some people want to burn these motherfuckers down man and that's what I'm that's, against. Again, that's not going to be enough. You saying sorry, I don't think that's enough. I don't know what they want. They want you to pay for it for the rest of your life. You know, instead of being, you know, <laughs> you know, Corey Coleman of Double Toasters, uh, Corey Coleman, who says some fucked up shit, says, you know, that's what they want your new Monica to be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah man. I, you know, there's some things I know I've said, and I'm, I'll be like, hey, the same thing. Because some of the stuff I did was 2013, like David Letterman, and, and older. You know, I've said some shit back in... Probably 2007, 2008, and what am I gonna say now? It's just like it's done. It's fucking done. So man, Chad already starts down. saying Corey said some cancelable shit when he was in Spill and all yeah, this stuff. I'll now they're you, gonna start digging on. Let that. me tell you something. <laughs> dig, man. Fucking dig. You know that's fine. Cause I, I. It, it, what do you? So now, like with people, that's the thing. One minute is fine, and then you know for some reason turns on a dime and people are like yeah you know what Ooh, 
ooh, I taste blood and sweat. Let's tear that motherfucker down. Because yeah. it's so easy on the internet. That's yeah. why, like, you're at home sitting and you have your keyboard or your phone and you can just put whatever you want. And it's yeah. like, let's fuck with this guy, you know? Fuck him. Fuck his life. And cancel him. And I'll tell you what, I will, I will, if it's really something where people want me to leave, and I'm not thinking it's about me because it's about David Letterman and everything that we've been talking about. And I'm even careful how I talk about cancel culture because saying cancel culture, that's such a catchphrase now. Cancel culture, cancel culture, you know? Let's really look at what these things are about instead of like hooking on to a catchphrase. But I tell you what, if you, I mean, if all of a sudden one day just people just wanted to get rid of me, I, for better or for worse, I'll pack this motherfucker up and I'll leave and go somewhere because I don't really have to fucking do this. I'll tell you that right now. Just to wrap it up, man, I, I don't look at David Letterman because like I said, if you're not like, fuck this dude, man, I'm kind of like, yeah, that was wrong. I didn't like what he was doing right there, but I do know that maybe if I had seen this in 2013, like a lot of other people, maybe I would have thought it was wrong then, or maybe I would have been laughing because everybody else was laughing at the time too, and it just seemed like the thing to do because a lot of people really were making fun of Lizzie Lohan back in the day. They were making fun of a lot of people. I think you should make a new uh, t-shirt say, cancel Coleman. <laughs> Sell it at <laughs> well, the shop. It has a ring to it, I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, there's... Said, you know, that's, that's stuff Martin has said that he's sweating right now. You know, it's like, damn, they're gonna come after me for this shit. So, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know what to tell you, man. I yeah, I don't know. I, I have no clue. Like I said, man, David David Letter. The only the only people who have a right to say, you know what, something's up here, is the people that are directly affected by it. And that's Lindsay Lohan. If she feels like something's up, we should listen to her. Should listen to anybody else because she's the one that's affected by it. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, I I. I I feel bad for her. I do. I think she was. I think she was really kind of beaten down in there, and that was very mean spirited. Uh, I yeah. bet even yeah. I bet even Lin- Lindsay Lohan at the time in 2012, 13, whatever, she didn't feel that much too big on her because like everybody was attacking her, and maybe she normalized it at the time, and now maybe she feels worse about it because when she turns back and looks at it, it's like, wow, everybody was too much on me, you know? Well, like, it is a period where, like I said, I think a lot of people were making fun of celebrities more now that we, mm. and, and yeah, I think we, over the years, we've gotten a little more enlightened. Maybe that's been sped up by the internet. We see more uh, people's lives. We hear more of their words, the people that we would laugh at. Uh, but I've lived through that period where I've seen people just be torn apart by jokes, by shows, by the media. And David Letterman was not the only one to do it. He probably did it in his own shitty way. And that's not right. But, you know, when it's all said and done, what is the end game here? What do, what do we really want to do? And, you know, and be honest, if you really want the man gone for something that would happen back then, that's fine. Is he still a shitty person? I, you know, I don't know. Uh, if he comes out and says, no, nah, I'm not sorry, then maybe I will think like, yeah, you get the fuck out of here, man. But, you know, you got to give a, a person a chance to come in and kind of atone for what they've done, I believe. You know, they, what is what is the deal with the, you know, if I don't I don't really believe in cancel culture for everything. What I believe is in like with prison, man, let's put prison rules on this. For some offenses out there, for some things that do, let's focus on rehabilitation. You know, when you criticize somebody, you bring these things up. I'm not against people bringing these things up. Please bring them up if it makes people more enlightened and it makes that person more enlightened and a better person. So I think we should give people like that a chance. Now, maybe can I, he change though? How old is he? Yeah, 70 or yeah. something? <laughs> it yeah. might be too late for him. <laughs> To yeah. change, you know. Just. Yeah, it might be, but who knows? I mean, this might just be a, a, a it might just be a stage persona too. He might really sit back and say, I know he's doing interviews right now. He might actually sit back and say, you know what? I really regret doing that. And there have been people who said, I regret doing that. There are certain things I regret doing. I did that whole <laughs> petition on Marlon Wayans. You know, I'm sure I've made jokes about women and I, you know, I look back and like, yeah, you know, as a person who's grown now, I, I wouldn't do those things now. I regret doing those things. But <laughs> what I want people to come out and be like, yeah, you know what? And for that, you got to burn. I'm like, ah, geez, all right. you know what happened? Take it. I don't care. <laughs> or David Letterman's like, man, I interviewed her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I was high myself at the time. <laughs> exactly. He's like, oh, damn, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, well. Like I said, man, if you molested or raped somebody, like I ain't sitting up here talking about free uh, uh, Weinstein, you know, I ain't talking about, hey, let's let Weinstein be a better person. Uh, you know, we draw the line somewhere. You know, poor Cosby, let's give the man a chance. Yeah. Oh, fuck that, man. Come on, you know. What, what happened to second chance or third or fourth or fifth? Yeah, yeah, coming you know. Soon, coming soon to DT merch, free Weinstein, double time. Yeah, free Weinstein. <laughs> oh, shit. Then they'll cancel oh, us oh, all you going to get canceled for that, man. <laughs> you treating Weinstein uh, lightly. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> people. Cancel what up, People son. go <laughs> enjoy DT merch while you can before it gets burned down. <laughs> Oz brought the gasoline. <laughs> Get your classic black tooth the white logo. That logo's gonna be black too by the time they burn this shit. <laughs> <laughs>